is if you know you know but if you don't my name is Tiffany and I'm on a 40 pound weight loss journey and in today's video you will see week number three of our healthy style of living so right now I am doing a keto ketogenic diet lifestyle whatever i don't know if i'm going to turn the ketogenic uh diet into a lifestyle for me or if i'm going to just transition into a healthy balanced lifestyle that is the goal so right now we're on a ketogenic diet and i'm feeling good honestly it's week number three is usually a week that i start to get a little testy on any diet because I'll see a couple a couple pounds drop and I'm like, okay, cool, we're not as bloated, we're good. No, no, not this time, not this time. This time I'm sticking to it, I'm sticking to it. Um, I will be 35 years old this year and honestly, like, I want to be like in my best shape, period, like, ever. So, we're just going to keep trucking along. So this week, um, I ended up weighing in at 207.8. And if you guys would like to see my first two week videos, I'll have them listed down below. And so I weighed in at 207.8. Um, you know what? That journey happened pretty fast coming from where we were. And coming into this week, I said, well, you know what? I'm going to try again to drink a gallon of water um, as an improvement. I'm going to make sure that I stick to my intermittent fasting to the T. And I'm also going to try not to have many, like, not too many snacks, not too many processed foods, and just see how this week's results pan out. So, um... I, oh, also I did work out too. So I worked out. So let's go through things. That was my goal, right? My goal was also to work out at least three times this week. And all those things I just listed were my goals, right? So let's check into what I did do. Okay, so did I work out three times this week? I did. So I did do my, th my kickboxing class. Um, three times this week and I, I really enjoy the kickboxing I feel like it really tones me up uh, relatively quick and um, so I, I stuck to intermittent fasting I was pretty strict on my um, 16 method so I would you don't know if you're not familiar with what that is it's just meant that I ate for I ate consumed food for eight hours out of the day and then I fasted for 16 hours out of the day. So for me, I typically would eat between the hours of 12 p.m. and 8 p.m. I think one day I may have eaten from like 12.30 to 9. But honestly, overall, I still did really, really well with that this week. Um, now, going into the water, right? Water, ooh, that is a test, honey. Now, see, I like water. I usually only drink water, except for when I'm fasting, I do like to drink black, I like to sip on black coffee, right? And that's mainly because it curves my appetite, it's so nasty that I don't want anything to eat, like, and that's the goal, right? Like, you wanna be able to continue your fasting time without wavering and falling into the trap of eating a snack or anything, right? Um, because you don't wanna spike that blood sugar level. And let me be clear, guys, I am no professional, okay? I am just a woman out here trying to figure it out. I mean, really, we're figuring it out together. I mean, if you have any suggestions to help me figure it out, list it below. Thank you for that. All right, so I didn't drink any less than 64 fluid ounces a day. So if you do quick math, it's about four regular bottles of water for the day. Now, my goal for a gallon, I want to say that's like 128 gallons. Like, correct me if I'm wrong. I'm not really sure 100%, but it's a 
lot of gallons. Like, I know it's over 100 gallons for sure, right? That is hard for me to get to. I think I was close to 100 gallons a couple days this week, but if you guys have any type of tips, tricks, and strategies to make sure you're getting a gallon of water a day, let me know down below because I, in my mind, I'm like, okay, for one, I'm peeing all day. Like, I mean, you, you pee all day when you drink all this water. And I'm on the road at work. Like, I hate having to constantly keep trying to find somewhere to stop to get, like, to pee. Like, honestly, like, to use the bathroom. I mean, it's, it's a lot of work, okay? It's a lot of benefits, of course, from what I hear um for drinking a gallon of water a day or drinking half of your body weight plus 32 ounces something like that either way it's a lot of water okay it's a lot of water so i did not hit that mark i'm gonna try again next week in week number four and hopefully you know i'll be able to knock that out at least a few days out of the week so give me any suggestions you guys try because right now for 64 ounces what i do to kind of psych the mind and make it a little bit easier on myself is i have one of those like one liter um bottle of water which is like 33 ounces and then i drink two regular size bottles so i'll drink one bottle early in the morning i'll figure out a way to chug like the 33 gallons during the day and then closer to the evening time I'll drink another bottle of water but that's the way that I do that it's very simple easy in my mind I'm thinking you're only drinking three bottles of water a day like who cares about the fact that one of them is you know a whole lot bigger than the other two but anyway so water that's how I did didn't really move it on to the food right I I still was not very good at packing my lunch this week. I What I did do though is I did what I like to call like a modified egg diet, right? I didn't really do, all I did was I used, I ate two or two to three boiled eggs as a meal replacement. And honestly, that really, really helps me with my calories and it also lets me get the amount of fat that I am looking for. I was also able to hit all of my macros this week. So I was good with that. Um, I like to stay around 5% for carbs and I like to stay around 75% for fat and about 20% for protein. Okay, so that is a balanced um, ketogenic lifestyle diet for me. And that's typically about where you wanna be to stay on track with keto. And I use my Fitness Pal app for that. Um, if you guys don't have anything to track your meals, I really suggest the app. This is not a sponsorship, this is what I use. And honestly, I don't know how I would really stay on track if it wasn't for that app. So, other than that I didn't really pack a lunch though so I did find myself getting a couple snacks like two days out of the week I ended up getting some um, pork rinds or skins whichever one you call them I call them skins but you know um, I ended up getting pork rinds and I also get ended up getting um, some more keto crunch the problem with the keto crunch was the fact that they only had the bigger bag right so the smaller bag is probably about like this size the smaller bag is one serving and I think it's like 170 calories or something like that maybe two or three neck like three net carbs right it's good though but the thing is that when you get that bigger bag it's so hard to only eat like a serving size to even know what a serving size is if you don't have a skill in front of you so I ended up eating more, of course, than that single bag. I ended up eating like half of the bag, which is two serving sizes, because the total amount of the bag was four serving sizes. So I ate two serving sizes one day, and then I, I was able to save the rest for the next day as a serving size. Like I have to get like the little snacks under control, but I know the way to get that. Like the way for me to get like the snacks under control is to go ahead and honestly like 
pack your lunch, sis. Like, it's not that hard. Pack your lunch, you'll be prepared. The only best way to a healthy, balanced weight loss is to be prepared. You have to have your meals prepared. You have to have your snacks prepared, okay? And please, like, I'm telling you, like, just be prepared. If you're prepared, if you're ready, you don't have to get ready, okay? So, honestly, I fell into that trap a little bit a couple of the days, a few days out of the week because I didn't prepare my lunch at night. I only prepared the boiled eggs, so that was one meal. And if I ended up having two meals because I was at work for 12 or 13 hours, I ended up getting, like, a snack. I should have at least, like, brought something that I could snack on that was a little healthy so that is going to be my goal for next week for week number four but on to what we have all been waiting for let's get on the scale okay so I'm about to hop on the scale all right let it zero out hop up there I like to not even look until it's done so I take a few seconds and I look down. Okay, so we're at 206.6. I'm gonna insert a picture of that up top. So that's where we're at. So that's what, 1.2 pounds lost from last week? Not bad. I mean, I like to lose like really like two pounds a week, but I'm not gonna argue about losing 1.2 pounds when I know that I have been doing what I need to do and also I have to account for the fact that I am working out at a gym like I mean just working out period it doesn't necessarily mean like at a gym right but I know that my body has to be basically putting on more mu a little more muscle so you know because I can tell in my and I should have done my measurements guys I'm sorry I don't know why I didn't do my measurements in the beginning but um I can tell, like I can tell that my body is toning up some. So I know that I have to be getting a little more muscle mass on me. And for me to have my skill down at all 1.2 pounds, you know what, I'll take it. Last week when I lost one pound or almost one pound, I was disappointed. Like it, was, it wasn't even a full one pound. Like um, I was disappointed, but coming into this week, you know what? Any pounds down is a good thing. And honestly, coming from week one to week number three, I am happy with the difference. Honestly, like I am down from, you know, I'm down like 7.4 pounds, I believe. Yeah, like 7.4 pounds. So I'm not, I'm not mad at that. I'm gonna go ahead and show you what I'm looking like this week. I'm just not mad about it guys like I can tell the difference I hope you guys are you know following your journey if you have some weight that you need to lose it's never gonna just go away on its own like in a healthy way you know you have to do something about it and that's what I'm doing I'm doing something about it I'm going to change this I'm going to get to my goal weight of 175 it's gonna happen Okay, and who knows when I get there, it may not be enough. There may, you know, I'll have other goals at that point. So continue to follow along with me, guys. I appreciate your support with my channel and everything and following this journey. You're really helping me to stay motivated. And I hope I'm able to motivate you guys in the process, give you any type of tips and tricks that you need for your weight loss. And if you have any questions for me, Anything that I'm not explaining thoroughly, any other questions like that you just want to know, like if I'm going to do or something like that, ask me down below. Um, yeah, I am an open book and I appreciate you guys' support and I will see you in my next one. So until then, bye.